What's up y'all, Alvin here, and today I'm gonna show you everything I have in my boat for a day on the river. I tell the good jokes. <laughs> So I did an entire video about the boat. So if you want to know more about the boat, check that out. It is a Hog Island Boatworks SW16. It's a 16 foot roto molded skiff. It's powered by a 60 horse Tahatsu four stroke engine with the jet pump on it. So it's a 60, 40 jet. Like I said, if you want to know more about the boat, check out the other video. All right, we'll start at the back of the boat. There's the engine and the rear deck. The rear deck is where we have the gas tank stored. There's two six gallon tanks. The boat will run for days on that. Uh, you may see the pipe coming up. That is from the bilge pump. Okay, moving back, we come to the back deck or the back hatch. And this is a storage area. Got lots of stuff in here. First thing you notice is the throw cushion. Leave that on top because you're actually supposed to have that available. So I'll pull that out, toss it on the deck. All right, some of the other gear in the back hatch, inflatable life jackets. We have one of these for everybody. And then we have the regular life jackets, one for everybody. So by law, you have to have the uh, life jackets, one for everybody on the boat. Mine is actually uh, over near my seat. We'll wear the inflatables when we're running the boat. If we want to take them off, we actually have the regular life jackets because the inflatables only count if you're wearing them. All right, so here's the battery compartment. Uh, there's a switch on that for the bilge pump. Turn it on, turn it off, or put it on auto. Uh, next to that, it's a Yeti hopper. There's no drinks in there. That's actually a toolbox. <laughs> Gotta have your tools. Other stuff back here, kill switch, key with a little floaty in case you drop the key, uh, grease for the jet pump, and first aid kit. And that's it for the back deck. Okay, so moving forward, uh, first thing you'll notice is my leaning bar. This is what I use to hang on to when I'm running the boat. Then attached to the leaning bar is a Yeti jug mount. I've got the one gallon jug here. It's also a great spot to store flies on the magnetic lid around the outside of the jug holder. I've got this little pouch system. This is actually off of a uh, Yeti bucket. It fits perfectly around the outside of the leaning bar. So in there, we've just got various stuff you wanna have handy, hand sanitizer, sunscreen. This is my horn. You have to have a noise making device in the boat as well. This is sort of like a mini fog horn. That thing's great, much louder than a whistle. A pair of pliers. Those just kind of live in there. These are not my pliers I use every day, but keep them in there. So no matter what happens, I know we got some pliers. Then on this side, got a Gerber Defender with uh, Gerber Freehander clippers attached to it. Always have my clippers. A couple of random knives, stuff that can stay in the boat. Grease for the oarlocks or anything else that might need some grease. Okay, so there's rod holders on both sides of the boat and the rod holders will hold three rods. So there's room for six rods. I usually have two rods, uh, depending on time of year, what we're doing. So like right now, I've got two rods with sink tip lines on it, these two, and then I've got rods with floating lines. Depending on time of year, I may have two rods with sinking lines, two rods with floating lines, I may have four rods with floating lines, different weights, just whatever it takes, changes from season to season. All right, moving forward, this is where I usually keep my life jacket, just kind of toss it there out of the way. Middle cooler, 65 quart Yeti, 
with the seat cushion on it. This is where I sit when I'm rowing the boat. This is also where my clients or my buddies, my wife, my kids, whoever is riding in the boat. That is the seat when we're running up river. On the sides of the cooler, I've got Yeti cup holders. Hold my coffee in the morning, my cold beverages later in the day. Okay, so when I'm sitting in the boat rowing, I've got my Yeti Go Box to my right, and I've done a couple of videos on the contents of my Go Boxes. I'll leave a link for those, but basically I've got everything I need for a day on the water, gear, cameras, all that type of stuff. On the left, like I said, I usually have my life jacket there, just kind of store it there for easy access, and my net. So this is a pretty cool net. Just got this one recently from the guys at Opros, and this is a carbon fiber handle, aluminum hoop, and a rubber bag. This one is uh, another super durable, hopefully unbreakable net. I have had several of the unbreakable nets, and they have all broken. <laughs> But I got high hopes for this Opro's net. It's the beefiest one I've had yet. Okay, moving forward, there's a little storage compartment right behind the cooler, right in front of the cooler, depending on how you're looking at it. And that is where I keep my fire extinguisher, some miscellaneous stuff, you know, maybe another bottle of sunscreen, and my trash bag. So, we can pick up trash when we're on the river, or if we just need a trash bag for stuff during the day. All right, moving forward, you will see the front seat, swivel seat. Uh, I like this one, it's nice, especially if I got somebody who doesn't wanna stand up and fish all day. Sometimes during the summer, when I need extra storage capacity for cold drinks, or place this seat with either a 35 quart or 45 quart Yeti cooler with the seat cushion, that gives me much more room for drinks, food, whatnot type of stuff. All right, the only other thing I usually have in the boat is my rope. Got a carabiner on the front of that. The rope clips onto the front of the boat so I can tie it off, but I like to have a clip on it so that when we start fishing, I can unclip it, take it, and get it out of the way so that it doesn't tangle on my front angler's fly line. All right, so that's about it. I like to try to keep it simple. You know, just the bare essentials. <laughs> Don't need to overload the boat. Anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. You know, that really does help me out. I'll see you in the next one. And in the meantime, good luck on the water.